Now let's talk about reading actual music. So you might see songs that are written out something like this. This is called measured music because it's written out with our little four beats in each measure. A group of four beats is called a measure or some musicians call it a bar just because it's a shorter word and easier to say. So each time you see these little marks that's a beat. So you can notice here that there's eight beats of the C chord then there would be eight beats of the A minor chord, eight beats of F, eight beats of G7. Then we've got this funky looking symbol at the end. This little symbol is called a repeat sign. Anytime you see a little double bar, double bar line with two dots, sometimes a little bracket, you might see that as well. That means repeat, repeat this previous section. Go back up to the top and play it again. Then after you played through this song a second time, you would then skip to or go to the final measure or measures if there's more than one of them so that we end the, the song in this case on a C chord. Then when you see a double bar line at the end, that means we're done. That's the end of the song. All right, so this is just an example. Just wanted to give you an idea of how the beat would be written out. In this case, you see all four beats.